Good morning to you. This is Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics for Monday, June the 6th, 2022. We are tracking Tropical Storm Alex as it moves off to the north of Bermuda today. And when we say it, we mean the center of circulation. Obviously, the area of Tropical Storm Force winds and associated impacts extends well out beyond that center of circulation, and those winds are impacting Bermuda this morning with some squally conditions, some locally rough seas. The good news is all of this will push on off to the north and east over the next several hours. And by the time we get to the end of the day today towards sunset, you bet it's going to be a lot nicer in Bermuda as Alex starts to pull away. Looking at the larger picture here, the satellite animation of the Atlantic Basin, generally pretty quiet everywhere due to strong upper level winds, which is what we would expect during this time of the hurricane season. A close-up visible satellite animation here of Alex. Again, mostly a low-level swirl. A lot of the deeper thunderstorm activity has been pushed off to the north and east because of those strong upper-level westerly winds cutting across the circulation of Alex. But still, a few rain squalls and again, those tropical storm force winds. Alex does have a fairly large wind field and that is impacting Bermuda. But this is going to move rapidly away, as I mentioned and by the end of the day today, things will improve quite dramatically in the vicinity of Bermuda. Now, one thing that will continue along the southeast coast of the U.S., this is just an example here from the National Weather Service Newport and Moorhead City, rip currents. The rip currents will still be pretty strong. Uh, the North Carolina Outer Banks, it's beach season, it's summer season here. People are coming down from all over the east coast to visit the beaches, and so you have to be careful out there because of rip currents from distant tropical storm Alex. All right, we need to talk about this. The ECMWF seasonal hurricane guidance has come out for the month of June and it is definitely alarming. And I'm gonna discuss that and much more during my hurricane outlook and discussion video later this afternoon, exclusively on YouTube and Facebook. All right, that is it for me for now. I am Mark Suddeth again. This has been What's Up in the Tropics. I'll be back with more for you later this afternoon in the Hurricane Outlook and Discussion.